Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your likes your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi Leo this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 5th through the 11th this is for Leo Sun Leo moon and Leo rising signs Leo okay so at the bottom of the deck I have the fool very nice so this is you walking down a new path Leo you're taking some sort of risk or leap of faith and you're going for it um, very nice Leo let's see you have a lot of characters in this spread honestly a lot of characters we have the king of swords the king of wands the queen of swords and the king of cups <laughs> my goodness Leo all right so the overall energy for the week is actually the Page of Wands, which can represent really exciting communication coming through. And often with the Page of Wands, this can be communication that you are expecting. Sometimes you have to wait for this communication. So for some of you, communication is coming through that maybe you've been waiting on. And it's very, very exciting. We do have strength here which does represent the sign of Leo. But strength is all about uh, control. So for some of you, this is you maybe taking the bull by the horns and maybe taking control of a situation. And then for other Leos, this could be you going within and maybe having to rely upon that inner strength with waiting on something. You could be waiting on important documentation because I have the Hierophant underneath strength. So for some Leos, you could be waiting on very important paperwork or waiting on maybe communication in regards to um, a large company. This could be something to do with career or even something to do with a marriage um, with the Hierophant. He represents marriage, committed partnerships. So there could be something that you're waiting on when it comes to marriage, partnerships, um, even maybe something legal, something to do with the government for some of you. Now we do have the King of Swords here. So this can be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person who's quite significant. For some Leos, this could be, you know, the person that you're waiting on or, you know, the King of Swords can represent an attorney. So for some Leos, you might be waiting uh, on communication from your attorney waiting on that that documentation that really allows you to move forward and take action here's your energy we have the king of wands and it doesn't matter if you're male or female leo the king of wands represents someone who's you know very passionate creative someone who's incredibly ambitious and for me he represents taking action moving forward taking control getting things started So for some of you, I think you've been waiting on communication that really allows you to do that. Maybe you've been waiting on important documents. 
Now, what's interesting is I have this King of Swords here, and he's looking over at the King of, of Cups. And the king, these two men are looking at each other. Uh, and the King of Cups is looking over here. And so this could be a Scorpio, uh, Cancer, or Pisces person. So you might have an air sign. You might have a water sign around you. That's quite significant. Now, for some of you, this might have something to do with a relationship because I have the King and the Queen of Swords here. So there could be a couple. That's quite significant. Uh, this could be you and your spouse. You know, even though you guys might not necessarily be air signs, this could be the energy that you have this week. And these are people that are more serious characters. They really um, are truth seekers. They want to cut to the truth of the matter. They're trying to get down to the bottom of something. You know, for some of you, you know, I feel like you might be seeking the truth from this water sign person. You know, there's something that you're passionate about and, you know, you might be looking to this water sign person for the truth or for clarity in regards to a situation. Because next to the King of Cups, I have the Nine of Wands, which can represent you waiting. For some of you, maybe you're waiting on this King of Cups person um, for whatever reason. Maybe you're waiting on him to contact you, waiting on information from him. With the Nine of Wands, though, this could be waiting for quite some time, but still hanging in there, still persevering, even though you're sick of waiting. Now, because I have the Ten of Cups here, this could be a family situation. So this could be something to do with an inheritance. This could be something legal. You might be waiting on an air sign or a water sign person. Maybe in regards to something to do with family or something that allows you to walk down a new path with the fool. And you're very, very focused on your happiness, Leo. This abundance. You can see how the Queen of Swords is looking over at the Ten of Cups. So you're very focused on your family or your family's happiness or your happiness. You want this emotional abundance. In a sense, the Ten of Cups is really having it all. So you want this. For some of you, maybe you want this with a, with a King of Cups person. But you're waiting for, for whatever reasons, waiting on that information, that communication, or that paperwork. But I feel like it's coming. You need to keep the faith with the Hierophant. You need to remain strong. Overall, I see it being a, just honestly an amazing week. Emotionally, I see it being a wonderful week for you. You actually don't have any pentacles cards, but I don't feel like it's going to be a bad week at all. I feel like overall it's more of like a conservative sort of energy. Yes, I get this fiery energy, but I, I also get like more of a conservative energy with the Hierophant, more of like a traditional energy. And then with the King and Queen of Swords, it's almost like, you know, you're you're planning, you're in your mind, you're it's more of like a serious vibe here um you're focusing on the things that are going to make you happy and with the king and the queen of swords like i mentioned they're truth seekers they want that clarity they want to cut to the truth of the matter and you know if there's something around them that doesn't have their best interest or is no longer serving them they will use the sword to you know cut ties with that and i can see how focused you are on your happiness i feel like you know this is you really planning for your future and honestly, I think it's going to be a great week. You, you're surrounded by very positive energy. And overall, I think it's going to be a great week. For some of you, you're spending a lot of time with your family. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. Additional guidance for Leo. Okay, I had a bunch of cards flip out.
Okay, we have Indriel. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Very nice, Leo. So, Leo, I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I hope you have a great week. Take care.